Okay, 5.2, the sine and cosine function. Sinusoidal, the definition of sinusoidal is having the curved form of a sine wave. And you're to copy the following tables and complete the entire table for sine x and cos x. We're not going to do tan x, which will leave until grade 12. Let's go to the next page. All right. So the table for sine x is 0, 0. So exact form and the approximate form. These were the graphs that you had to hand in. So we have for sine, we start with 0, 30, 60, 90, 120, 150, 180, and so on to 360. What we're trying to do here is build the basic coordinates that we're looking for. So you're, these are all special angles that you have to find the values of. So you have to go from 0 all the way up to 360 and plug in the values for sine and then, then do the same for cosine. For sine, you will plug it in and you'll, then you will also get the approximate values in order to be able to graph these functions. This you will hand in or you've already handed in um, and you're doing this in order to get uh, for some extra marks because these are assignment marks. All right, so you have to do the same for the, cos for the cosine graph with the same values in the x. Obviously, the y values are different when you're graphing. You're only doing it for two of the tables and two of the graphs. Okay, so I need four tables, the proximate and exact, and two graphs, which you will hand in. All right, thanks, folks. All right, looking at the next one. What we're going to do is we're trying to determine the information in this question. You're in a car on a Ferris wheel. The wheel has a radius of 8 meters and turns counterclockwise. Let the origin be at the center of the wheel. Begin each sketch in parts A and B when the radius from the center of the wheel to your car, that's the, and a car is the little, the little cabin that you're in when you ride a Ferris wheel. So, Begin each sketch at parts A and B when the radius from the center of the wheel to your car is along the positive x-axis. You are to sketch the graph of, your, of the horizontal displacement versus the angle through which you turn for one rotation of the wheel. Which function models the horizontal displacement? So, what's happening is that these are your two functions. For part A, you will start at, at a height of 8 meters and start going down, okay? The reason why you're going down is remember you're talking about the horizontal displacement. So as we're moving to the top of the actual Ferris wheel, what you're doing is your distance to the y-axis is decreasing. And then as you're moving downwards across the other side, your distance from the y-axis is, is also going negative now in terms of what's value what's happening then as you complete the turn all the way down you're coming back to zero and then back again positively so that's why these values go from eight downwards to negative eight and back up to eight so this models the cosine function next part b says sketch the graph of your vertical displacement so here we start at zero our height reaches up to eight then it starts to go downwards towards zero. Then our height goes towards negative eight and then comes back to zero again. So when we're drawing it, it's going up to eight, down to zero, back down to negative eight, back up to zero. All right. And that's all, folks. Hopefully everything goes well. Take care. Good night.